Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into a swirling vertex of Apple rumors, specifically focusing on a highly anticipated Apple M5 chip and the Mac lineup it's expected to power. If you've been wondering when those M5 Macs are coming, what kind of performance are left to expect, and if you should even consider buying a Mac right now, then you're in the right place. Let's start with the star of the show, the M5 chip itself. While Apple keeps a tight lead on specifics, leaks and industry whispers paint a pretty clear picture. The M5 is a widely expected to be fabricated on TSMC's latest third generation 3N process. What does that mean for you? Improved performance? We're talking about a noticeable jump in both CPU and GPU performance, while the expected percentage is still speculation. Expect your daily tasks to feel even snappier and demanding professional applications to apply. Enhanced power efficiency. A smaller process means less power consumption, translating to even better battery life and cooler operation for desktops. This is a hallmark of Apple Silicon, and the Empire will likely push that even further. Next gen neural engine. Apple focus on AI, Apple intelligence means the neural engine on the M5 is going to be significantly more powerful. This will deliver benefit features like on-device AI processing, advanced photo and video editing tools, and more intelligent system functionalities. So when you can get your hands on one of those M5 power bits, the consensus from reliable sources like Meng Chico and Mark Gurman points a struggle rollout primarily in late 2025 and early 2026. MacBook Pro, M5, M5 Pro, M5 Max. This is likely to be the purest M5 Mac out of the gate, possibly as early as October 2025. Rumors suggest we'll see both 14-inch and 16-inch models with M5 Pro and M5 Max chips. For this refresh, don't expect major design changes. It's primarily a spec bump. However, 2026 is rumored for a significant MacBook Pro redesign with OLED displays and a thinner chassis, likely featuring the M6 chip. So if you can't wait, that might be the truly revolutionary upgrade. Mac Mini M5 M5 Pro. The compact powerhouse is also expected to get an M5 upgrade. We can see this alongside the MacBook Pros in late 2025. No major design changes are anticipated here, as the Mac Mini just received a significant redesign recently, iMac M5. The 25-inch iMac is also slated for an M5 refresh, potentially arriving alongside the new MacBook Pro and Mac Minis in late 2025. Again, expect an internal upgrade rather than a radical needlock. MacBook Air M5 The popular MacBook Air is likely to get the M5 chip in early 2026. We're looking at both 13-inch and 15-inch models, maintaining their current slick designs. Mac Studio M5 Ultra This desktop workers is expected to receive an M5 Ultra chip, potentially delivering mind-blowing performance for Pro users. Rumors suggest a late 2025 or early 2026 release for the Mac Studio with a focus on raw power. Mac Pro M5 Ultra The ultimate modular Mac is also due for an update and is heavily rumored to feature the M5 Ultra chip. Its release could be also in late 2025. Beyond the raw power of the M5, what other exciting features and changes can I expect? Connectivity upgrade We're hearing strong whispers about Wi-Fi 7 and Thunderbolt 5 making their way into this new Max. This means significantly faster wireless and world data transfer speeds, which is huge for professionals and anyone dealing with large files. Improved cameras. Expect upgrades to built-in cameras, possibly moving to a 12 megapixel sensor in some models, leading to sharper and clearer video calls. Apple Intelligence Integration This is a big one. With the M5's enhanced neural engine, Apple Intelligence feature will be deeply integrated into macOS. Imagine smart Siri, advanced text summarization, and writing capabilities, and even generative AI for image creation right on your Mac. This will be a game changer for productivity and creativity. Potential for OLED displays While the initial M5 MacBook Pros might not get OLED, the 2026 redesign is heavily rumored to bring stunning OLED displays to the MacBook Pro, offering incredible contrast and vibrant colors, much like the latest iPad Pros and iPhones. Thinner and lighter design. Again, primarily for the 2026 MacBook Pro, a significant chassis redesign could make this already portable machines even more small and lightweight. Built in cellular module, this is a more speculative rumor, but there's talk of future MacBooks potentially integrating a cellular modem, allowing for constant internet connectivity without relying on threading your iPhone. This would be a massive convenience for mobile professionals. So the million dollar question is, should you wait for an M5 Mac? If you need a Mac now, the correct M4 Macs are still incredibly powerful and capable machines. 
If your current startup is struggling or you have an immediate need, you will still be getting a fantastic device. If you prioritize the absolute latest and greatest, if you always want the bleeding edge performance and the newest feature like Wi-Fi 7 and Thunderbolt 5, then waiting for the M5 is a good idea, especially for the MacBook Pro and Mac Studio. If you're eyeing that potential 2026 MacBook Pro redesign with an OLED display, then definitely hold off. The M5 generation of Apple Silicon promises to be another significantly forward for the Mac. With improved performance, enhanced AI capabilities, and faster connectivity, these machines are set to push the boundaries of what's possible on a personal computer. What are you most excited about regarding the Empire Max? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more tech insights, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next upload. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.